So Allie, you have a problem. Yeah, this paper says you're not gonna graduate. Danielle is doing something oh. that she really wants to do and she's really scared at the same time. Daddy, I have a sliver. Can, Can you, you fix, fix it? it? What slivers are so They're bad. no fun, huh? But wait, who paid for them? Me. Oh. Her. Face level, so this low? No, not that low. A little bit, like the so maybe. Do you go face level? No, your face level. <laughs> up a little, up. Yeah, like that. That's where I was. No, you had a little higher than that. Did I? Yeah. Look at this. This is like, this is the second thing that we've hung on our walls. That's well, the first. we did hang the TV. Oh yeah, but that's the first picture. Here's but number this two. This is so important to us. Sarah saw this yesterday and said, "This is so us." Life itself, life itself is the most wonderful fairy tale. I think when, when fairy tales say, and they lived happily ever after, people would think that means that everything went perfect and everything was great. What it means is happily through the trials, through the struggles, through the pain, through the good, through the excitement, through the all everything, right? But they did it together. Right? That's what it means. If it just said and they lived, you wouldn't have any you wouldn't have anything to aspire to and they lived happily ever after. That's that's giving you aspiration to, to make your life ha happily ever after. Which is not what this says, but it's hidden in the fairy tale. So we create our own fairy tale, right? Uh, do you like that? From a distance it looks good. If I put a hole in the wall, I mess it all up if it's wrong. Yesterday, I was really craving guacamole. So I went to the store and bought guacamole. And mom can't have it. <laughs> so Allie, you have a problem. <laughs> this paper says you still have two credits to graduate high school. Way to go. Did you ever meet with your counselor? I did, and he told me I had none. Like, I just had to finish choir and theater and orchestra and then I'd be done. Well, there's some kind of mistake somewhere because this says Come meet with me. Please have Alexia meet with me to complete her schedule. Please contact me as soon as possible. It says you have language arts, PE, and CTE that you're still missing. We talked about language arts. PE, he said <laughs> I was done with PE and CTE. That's so annoying. Oh my goodness. So language arts what in place of what? I'm like concerned about this now because I remember saying set a meeting with the counselor and we'd like to be there. And that never happened. Then you just came home and said, I talked to my counselor and everything's good. Yeah, this paper says you're not going to graduate. What about PE and CTE? I asked him about that. And? I was like, do I need to finish my PE stuff? And he's like, no, you have it all done. I'm like, okay, is there anything else? He's like, no, just finish choir, What's orchestra, CTE? And, uh, wow. I suggest you go jump on the phone right now and get a meeting with the counselor. Guaranteed he's not very busy right now. He's probably... Yeah dealing with two guys that just went out in the parking lot and I don't know set car alarms off and so they're in trouble and so he has to deal with them here's his business card which was me oh, when I was you. that age you were the ones I, um, car alarms in high school so they didn't have like real car alarms in high school it was more like do I use to contact it was more like getting into somebody else's car moving it and then having them go say that their car has been stolen and it really wasn't stolen it was just me going around with them hey, Daddy. and she was the culprit I was just the one doing the work Actually, at your age, school was a thing of the past for me. I'd already moved on. At her age, I was looking at the same thing she's looking at, but I was looking at more credits, and I had basically given up. So I, surprise, did not graduate high school. Surprise. I was, a, I was kicked out of high school, and then I was a dropout of the next high school. But then I went and got my GED and went to high school to college and nobody asked any questions. I'm gonna start a song, I'm gonna write this song and it's called Welcome to Adulthood. 
it starts off with a little bit of strumming. I don't have the strumming right now. Welcome to adulthood. It really sucks. You don't have a phone. It really sucks. <laughs> and it really sucks. Your car is out of gas and it really sucks. <laughs> what are you laughing about? <laughs> Welcome to adulthood and it really sucks. Welcome to a whole adulthood. It really stinks. You clean your old bathrooms and all. I can't hear what they're saying. Don't do it. It really sucks. So I'm watching, I'm watching uh, the video that I'm going to be putting out today, uh, the vlog. And just I always watch the, them several times, just make sure everything's uh, the way it should be. And uh, there's a part on there where um, the keys come out that Charlie loves so much. And anyway, I was watching it. He comes running in here. Let's see if he'll do it again. <laughs> uh -huh. My, I have a slipper. You should probably tell Daddy. No. He can help fix it. Do you know that slippers can make your hand bad? Black, like poisonous? Yeah. Daddy, I have a slipper. Can, can you, you fix it? it? Uh-oh. Let's check it out, yo. Hold on to my hand right here tight. Like I'm holding on to yours. There you go. Ow. Yep, that's me. That means we got the sliver. Wood slivers are so. They're no fun, huh? I'm never going on that wood. Which ever one? Again. Ow. Okay, I think we got it. Check and see. Show me. Did you get it? I think it's out, dude. Show me. Good job. There's Thanks for being blood. brave. Nah, just a little bit of blood, but that's just because the sliver's not in its place anymore. The sliver was keeping it from bleeding. Within an hour, there will be no more anything. You won't even know it's there. So when it's in the middle of the earth, it's called man magma. And when it goes, shoots up through the volcano and comes out, it's called lava. That's kind of like blood, like when it's inside the pool and it's outside the red. Yeah, cool, huh? All of the kids have been doing double duty this week. In other words, they've been doing two days worth of work each day so that when we go on vacation next week, they won't have to worry about school. That's taking time, a lot more time away from us too and the things that we need to do. When I say us, I mean me, Branson, and Sarah, where it's like double duty, um, just to help them get through it. And so it's a sacrifice of time for everyone and that's how it works. When you, when you have something fun you wanna do, you have to sacrifice, uh, make sure they get the work done first. This is the work that I'm working on. That pipe was busted. Canyon, don't, don't, <laughs> don't do anything else. I'm a little worried about looking at this pipe over here because Canyon has been playing over here. It's okay, it looks like everything's okay. I was worried that he covered that pipe up but that one also got broke and I have a new valve there. But I only have 12 minutes to finish the job here. So we're gonna make it happen, right Mashikino? Yep. Okay. And now I get a message from Sarah saying, we're leaving right this second. So I didn't have as much time as I thought. Come on, Giga, let's go. At least we got uh, that one fixed. We can fill it in now and, and get our plants in there. And, and uh, every time the sprinkling system comes on, it will water the garden. That way we don't have to come out and do it manually. Isn't that incredible? I, I know he's not making it up because I saw Charlie doing it yesterday. Sarah and I have already talked about it and we believe and think after going out there and I know it sounds gross but analyzing things, Grizz is eating way too much food. He goes, he eats his food in here and then he goes out there and eats Charlie's food too. Um, and we've been getting, giving Charlie a lot more so he can eat more so he can get some. Well, Grizz is going out there eating his, Charlie's eating his, well it's going right through Grizz. It literally is just going straight through him. And, um, and there's still dog food in there. And so I can't talk to Charlie about it. I really can't understand it even a little tiny bit, but I'm thinking that he still thinks there's food in there. And so he's eating it and it is absolutely disgusting. We've been sitting here and we saw one of Johnny's teachers here and we were talking to her and then we came inside and we were waiting and I text my dad and I'm like, if you don't come soon, we're gonna pay for it. And 
He's like, I'm already here. So we went inside and walked around, couldn't find him. And come to find out there was a miscommunication. We're at Chakarama, he's at Pizza Pie Cafe. He's already paid at Pizza Pie Cafe. So we have to go over there. The only thing is Canyon's upset and he doesn't want to eat at Pizza Pie Cafe. He wants to eat here because we're here. <laughs> hey buddy, guess what? We have a problem. Grandpa paid for our dinner. But it's not here. But it's not here. He paid for our dinner at Pizza Pie Cafe. <laughs> so can we go over and meet Grandpa and be happy about it? And we'll I don't want you. Okay, okay, listen, listen. What do you want here instead of over there? Remember they have the noodles at Pizza Pie Cafe that you like? We really hyped them up for chicken. I know, we got him. We got him all excited to come okay. here. And we'll, now, we'll and we'll change it. It's not a big Canyon's deal. not good with change. You hang out <laughs> until Allie gets here, and then okay. you guys meet us there. <laughs> Does that work? Yeah. Okay, so the one thing that could make this all so much better <laughs> is if Allie got mixed signal too and ended up at Pizza Pie Cafe instead of coming here, and then Danielle got left here. <laughs> because Allie came to the other place. We'll, we will see because she's not here right now, which tells me she went further away. <laughs> we'll see her in a minute once we get there, right? Yeah. Because she's supposed to be here, what, 20 minutes ago? Oh, she made it? Awesome. Okay, see you in a minute. Life stinks when you don't have a cell phone, huh? No, I'm like, I can't call <laughs> messenger. You couldn't call me to tell me you're gonna be half an hour late? No. Well, I'm sitting I there in the Kate parking lot. Number. I'm sitting there in the parking lot and I don't see your car, and so I'm like, well, I'm, they're probably late. So I'm sitting there in the parking lot for like 30 minutes, and then Danielle no, me, you not know, 30 I saw minutes. You park, and then I came out like three minutes later. <laughs> <laughs> a long time. Yeah, you really parked and like, I came out like three minutes later. <laughs> she sat the there with face this... pressed against the window just looking around. The moral of the story is I hate not being able to contact people. <laughs> I love noodles. I can't stop eating them. <laughs> Pretty cool race car. Whoa! I'm going where I have to go to the book. Where do you think the kids are? Ah, oh, the toys. This was Kanye's decision to come over here. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, right to the Barbies. And you guys went kicking no. and screaming. Right to the Barbies barbecue pizza kitchen. I was gonna have Allie and Danielle meet me at the Verizon store so we could figure out Allie's phone and Danielle's like, okay, send me a pin. All of the Verizon stores are closed now. I thought they closed at nine, they closed it at seven or eight. So it's A21. Allie is not going to get a phone today. Hi, Grinch! Hi! Allie, uh, the other day was wearing shoes that seriously look like... I have, I've used the same, worn the same shoes for the past two years and haven't gotten new ones. And I'm like, dude, seriously, get some new shoes. Wait, did I pay for them or you? Uh, you paid for them. <laughs> Actually, mom paid for them. No, well, I paid for them. The deal was, wait. The deal was, I told her I would get her new shoes if she would throw away two pairs of oh, yeah, the terrible pair. Oh, wait, throw away two who paid for them? Me. Her. I was gonna pay for If you paid for him, who ultimately paid for him? You. Me. <laughs> no, it was with her car. <laughs> who paid for him? Me. Just let me open the dang shoes. I thought Allie was paying for him. That was the whole idea here. Like I was gonna pay with She pays. I was gonna pay for And then when she pays, guess who ultimately pays? I was gonna use my gift card, but then it was stupid and not working. Alright, let's take a look at the shoes, yo. Oh, I like them. Aren't they awesome? Cauliflower. They're yellow. 
cauliflower. Oh, is that what it says on it? <laughs> Call for you? Call for you. Hey, Charlie. Little Mickey no, Mouse. No, 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 please no. I have to throw away two pairs of shoes though. Okay, make it happen. Me rude, but I would just I'm excited about this because um, Allie leaves her shoes on all day long. Do you guys have um, any sense of, like you have a strong sense of smell where you could smell somebody's feet through their shoes if it stinks? That's me. Or if someone's... Gross. Tomorrow, Danielle is doing something oh. that <laughs> more scared than wants to do. She's been asking me, hi, Chris. Hi, go, hi. <laughs> it wasn't supposed to be for two more weeks, and then it got changed to tomorrow, and now all of a sudden she's like petrified. <laughs> I'm so scared <laughs> to. It's not like the real thing yet. If you want to know what Danielle's scared to do, you got to come back tomorrow. What? <laughs> we love you guys, and as always, you, you are, are worth, worth it. it. Bye. Bye.